Hey Sagittarius, welcome back to Sophia Monet Tarot. This is for single Sag, okay? <laughs> single Sagittarius, I'm like, is this the weekly? No, it's not. Okay, welcome back, you guys. Welcome back to the channel. Okay, something already flew out. Seven of Wands, okay. Could be a fire sign. Who's coming in for single Sagittarius? Today is your day. Thursdays are made for, for singles. Okay, so thank you guys for tuning in. Single Sagittarius. Who's coming in for single Sagittarius? Who's coming in? We have the Ten of Cups. Okay. And we have the Queen of Cups. You know what I feel? <laughs> Sagittarius, you may have to let your guard down. Okay? Let me adjust the camera just a little bit, you guys. Just a tad there. <clears throat> You may have to let your guard down in order to have someone to come in. There is love for you, for you here. Ten of Cups, Queen of Cups. Someone could have a lot of feelings for you. Now, this person could be guarded, <clears throat> but I'm saying this as, a, this as you with your feelings right now. You may have a guard up. Let me take a sip, you guys. But... <clears throat> I'm feeling like love is there for you. It may be an animal lover as well. I'm being drawn to, drawn to the two dogs here at the bottom of the Queen of Cups card. They may be a dog lover in particular. <clears throat> I feel like this is someone who would like to open up to you. Let's see. Let's clarify. Who's coming in for single Sag? Eight of Wands could be someone at a distance, could be an Aries for some of you, an Emperor. Show me this Emperor. Someone very attracted to you. I feel like this is you. <laughs> Sagittarius, why do I feel like this is you, okay, being this Emperor? Some of you, it's like you could be blocking, like energetically, you could be blocking, and I'm talking about single Sagittarius is. So if you're in a relationship, this reading is not for you. I feel like you could be energetically blocking someone. You may just be focused on yourself or on your grind. Some of you are coming off with this emperor-like energy. I said, show me the emperor and the queen of wands comes out. Your energy. Whoa. Ace of wands. <laughs> Nine of cups. Now, for some of you, vice versa, I will flip it the other way, okay? Like I always say, the stories could be flipped or reversed. So, if this is this person, this person may energetically come, come off with this, like, blocking energy. Or you may think, like, this person doesn't want anything with you, but they actually do. They actually find you very attractive uh, with the Queen of Wands, Ace of Wands, very fire-like energy, okay? Then Nine of Cups. This could be something that's very heated, that starts off very passionately and then turns into something more emotional as you get to know this person, Ten of Cups, with the Queen of Cups here. Show me. Ten of Wands. Wow. Some of you, let me say this, you've just been hard at work and you've, you've been so focused on yourself, you may not have paid attention to this Leo. Okay, we do have the strength card here. Some of you may feel like love is unattainable right now or having that true happiness or fulfillment with someone is just not attainable right now. Okay, although you may want that one day or desire that one day, a lot of you may not be focused on that or that may not be your main focus at the moment. I do want to say that. What's the Queen of Cups? Show me. Page of Pentacles. Page of Cups. You may meet someone who has kids. Okay, for some of you, if you're the one who has kids, you're going to find someone who's very attracted to you because you have children. Okay. They're going to like how good of a, a mother or father you are to your kids. That's coming out for me with the Queen of Cups, Page <clears throat> of Pentacles, and Page of Cups. Yeah, wow. Someone who has children, that may be very enticing for either one of you. 
Show me that energy, please, for single Sagittarius. Seven of Pentacles. You may have someone that, that comes in and tries to make small talk with you as well. Not just the, the child energy with the Page of Cups, but pages mean messages. Messages coming in, someone trying to talk to you. Someone wanting to invest in this, okay? And they may be trying to get a message through to you, okay? Ace of Swords. They may have tried to talk to you before and maybe you dismiss this person, okay? <laughs> I don't feel like it's someone you've dated before. I just feel like it's someone who's tried to reach out to you or maybe if you work with this person or you're around this person in any way, maybe they've said hello to you or tried to open up conversation with you and maybe you have not been as open, okay? <laughs> Two of Wands. Yeah, I feel like this person wants to know, like, man, if I really ask, you know, Sagittarius out, how would they respond? Would Sag really want to be with me? Would Sag like me? Some of you have your eye on a water sign, okay? <clears throat> Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Some of you, like I already said, a Leo or an Aries. Fellow, fellow uh, fire sign coming through. Okay, show me a little bit more <clears throat> about this person. What are their intentions with Sagittarius? Okay, you. <laughs> your, your major arcana with temperance. So this person is willing to be patient. Five of Wands, they may, may feel a bit conflicted here with the Five of Wands. Yeah, about, I feel, how to talk to you or how to make you happy. Or it's like you may be a little bit mysterious to, <clears throat> to this person. They want to know more about you. And I also feel like they wish that you would bring your feelings to light as well. Okay, show me a little bit more. Yeah, King of Cups, King and Queen of Cups. And then Five of Cups. Oh, I feel like this person does not want this to be a missed opportunity. And that's why I feel like they're, they're kind of trying to gauge you and see what you want. They don't know. Whoa, look what came out. Look, Three of Swords, Seven of Cups. See, they could be thinking the worst. Okay, Page of Swords, they're watching you, wanting more information about where this is going to go. Will of Fortune. Where is this going to go? Now, for some of you, you could be thinking this like, oh, this is going to be another heartbreak situation. I should just focus on myself. This person may put me in a third party. You, you could be very skeptical of this new person coming in and they could feel that energy coming off of you. Remember, even though people may not talk to you, this could be a Virgo, even though people may not physically talk to you, people can feel energy. Okay, they can see it in your body language. So that's what I'm saying. Drop your guard a little bit. Open up. And when I say open up, I mean in a friendly way. If you really want to date someone, just open up in a friendly way. It doesn't have to be all ov overtly, you know, sexual or flirtatious or, you know, so forward. Just start talking to this person. Okay. Can you give me a little bit more about this person? And what they're like. Six of Swords. They could. I feel like this person could love travel. Or they travel quite a bit. They may travel for work. Two of Swords. They want to come near you or close to you. But I feel like they fear this is going to be a tower moment. Scorpio's energy. This stresses them out. They do worry about this. Okay with the Nine of Swords. Oh, you know, Sagittarius, they worry about getting played too. King of Wands with the Knight of Wands, Nine of Swords. They worry about getting played. Oh, they don't want it to be just a sex thing. Okay. And hit it and quit it and one night stand, that kind of stuff. This person is worried about the same thing. If you are, if you're worried about getting played, they're worried about getting played as well. Okay. So that may be a reason why this person could have a guard up. Okay. Or could feel a little bit of tension coming toward you. Okay. What is this person like? That was quite a bit. What is this person like? Let's see the characteristics. Cosmetic surgery. Okay. So they could have undergone some type of surgery. When you see this person... You could know that already. 
they could come from a troubled past. And this is what I'm saying. This person may be afraid to get played. Maybe they've already been through that before. Who is this person? Roommate. They could have a roommate. Okay. This could be for some of you. This could be someone in your household. You know, I've seen situations where four or five people are living in one house. So this could be someone who's very attracted to you, who's close to you. It could also be a neighbor for some of you. Show me this person. Commitment phobia. Yeah. Afraid of getting hurt. That's what I feel when I see that. Commitment phobia. What else? Someone who could be organized, structured, have order. Okay. Or like that. Someone who's very attractive. Okay. Or they're very, they find you very attractive. And one more. Situations, situations, I, why can't I say that? You know, Mercury retrograde is coming up. Situationship, settling for less. <laughs> so like I said, this person may be afraid <clears throat> that this is all it's going to be. Okay. Like I said, it may start off as very uh, passionate or the two of you may have a strong sexual attraction but then later on as you get to know this person it could really develop into something else okay but I want you to know this person is afraid of getting hurt to show me this person <clears throat> I like that deck because it shows you like the good the bad the ugly not just the good stuff <laughs> okay they could be a Scorpio and if they are a Scorpio or they have Scorpio in their chart, yeah, they, this could be a person who is very careful with opening up to people, okay? <clears throat> water, strong water sign coming through for you guys. Aries energy with Mars. Could be a Virgo, like I had already said earlier, and it could be a Capricorn for some of you. Strong earth, water, and fire. Okay, and specifically Aries with fire. Okay, what is this person's kink? Can you give us a little bit of kinkiness here? Okay, tickle my ass. I won't stop you. <laughs> Are you having sex with someone else? Again, that energy of afraid to get played. Okay, let's try different positions. And love making. Let's make love. Okay, so this person actually has a soft side. They may come off a certain way, but I feel like you just need to break down that barrier or they need to do this with you. And the two of you can really get to the emotions of each other, not just passion or not just being friends. Then the two of you can really open up and see where this can go. Alrighty, Sagittarius, that is your energy for singles. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel, Sophia Monetero. I look forward to hearing from you, you guys. Take care. Bye.